record. Okay, guys. So today we're gonna be drawing shapes, two-point perspective shapes. It, is, it doesn't have to be a house. It doesn't have to be buildings. It doesn't have to be anything. Just shapes. I want to see shapes in space. Okay, two-point perspective. This is one. Oh wait, wait. This was one point perspective. If you see the point in the middle, that's one point. Everything connects to that one point. Okay, but we are doing two points. So this is two point perspective. So there's a one point here and one point there. And everything connects to those two points or it's straight up and down. Okay. So here's an example that Mr. Godinez did in his other class. So he used two points perspective and to create shapes. Okay. I did this one in my last class. Uh, I made a pyramid. I made a sphere and a couple shapes. So what we're going to do is fill your paper with shapes and make sure there's a light. So we create shadow for value, okay? So it can look 3D. And in my other class, we were just uh, showing you, they were, I just showing them some shapes they can create. So that's what we're gonna do today on this class too. We're just gonna create shapes and uh, shapes that you don't know how to create or want a reminder of, okay? So feel free to speak out if you want me to draw some a shape so that you can draw in your, um, in your drawing. Okay. So make sure to get paper, pencil, and a ruler. At the end, I want, I want to see your work. Remember guys, you do not have to copy me. You do not have to copy me. You can do your own shapes, your own drawing. I'm just doing shapes to uh, remind you of how to do the shapes, okay? Be original. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my horizon. My horizon. I'm gonna draw a line in the middle. Your horizon can be below or above, but I, I'm gonna do it in the middle. And two points, perspective, one point, two points. Everything will be in those two points, okay? Or a line straight up and down. Okay, so I'm first gonna start with the rectangle. Let's do a rectangle. Very easy. You draw a line, it's the bottom line. And then you use the other vanishing point and connect it to the to the edge. That's the other side. Okay, so we have the bottom two lines. Now we create a vertical line up and down. Make sure it's straight up and down. If it's not straight. It's gonna look, it's not gonna look right. Okay, so I have my straight line. Now let's do the top, the top. So I connect it to the line. Remember guys, you don't have to copy me. I just want, I'm just drawing to remind you how to draw the shapes, okay? And I'm doing the top. Okay, so now I connect them. I'm connecting the edges. Now I'm missing the top, the top of my shape. So I am going to use the vanishing point to connect the, 
Okay. And I need to close it. I'm going to close it. I'm going to erase that extra line. Okay, so I have my shape. So let's make it seep. Like I want to. I want it to be open, an open shape. Let's do an open shape. So to do an open shape, we're going to open the front or the side or the center. And I'm going to do this side right now. So let's, let me open the shape. So corner. Okay. And I'm going to make the back wall and now I will connect it to the vanishing point. So this is how you make an open shape. So that's an open shape. Very easy. So once you put your light source you can see it better. So I want to make my light source in this side. So I'm just going to do a little sun just to remind me where the light source is. And so there's going to be shadow inside here because the light source is not hitting it. There's also going to be shadow on this side. So let's do the shadow. I'm gonna use my finger to blend a bit, to smoothen it out. Darken this side. Okay, so, and then there's light on the top. So this one should have dark, should have a shadow too. I'm doing the shading pretty fast, but uh, you take your time to do it, please. Okay, so it's see-through and there's light there. So I'm done with my first shape. Now let's do another shape. Uh, let's do a pyramid. Let's do an open pyramid. Okay, so I'm first going to start with the base of the pyramid. The base of a pyramid is a square. So let's start with the square. Actually, I think I'm going to do a rectangle on the bottom instead of a square. I'm doing a rectangle, not a square. And now I find the center of my shape. How do you find the center? By creating an X from corner to corner. You find the center corner to corner, you make an X. So there's my point, the center. Now I make a line going up, straight up. I'm gonna make a soft line so I can erase it. It's gonna be pretty big. Okay, so here's my tip, that's the center. So now I'm gonna connect my edges to that tip. I'm gonna connect it. Connect my edges. 
Okay, so I got side one. Now I'm gonna do side two, the, the other side. I could actually leave it like this, erase this, the bottom, and it will become a, a triangle pyramid-like shape, but I want it uh, open like this one. So I'm going to connect the other side too. And darken the back, the back line. And now I'm going to erase lines I don't want anymore. Wish I had a skinny eraser. Okay. And now I just add the value. So where is the dark? So this is gonna be shadow. The light is hitting the, the other side shadow and a little bit of shadow on that one just a bit so i'm creating shadow make sure to be drawing some shapes guys uh, it doesn't have to be the shapes i'm drawing but i want you to i want to see you guys working and at the end i want to ask you to show me your work okay so this said i'm going to make it a bit lighter And a little bit on this side, just a bit. All right, so that's my triangle shape. It's not really a pyramid. It's more like a triangular shape. Okay, so how about let's do a... Um, A cylinder. Let's do a soda. A soda can. Let's do a soda can. Where should I do it? I'm going to do it right here. A soda can. So for the soda can, I'm going to start with the base, which is a square. And this ruler is a little too small. So I'm gonna use this ruler instead. So I'm gonna make a soda, guys, a soda. I want the triangle overlapping my shape. So I made the line C through the back of the open shape. Make it a little bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to finish my square. I'm using the vanishing points. Always reuse the vanishing points. Okay, so that's my square. And I want to find the middle now. So how do you find the middle? By making corner to corner, you make an X. So I found the middle. And now to find the center of that, I will use the vanishing point. And the vanishing point. Huh. I actually like, I want to make an actual pyramid for this one. Or I can make a cube, a pyramid. I can make a rectangular prism. I can make a lot of uh, shapes with this. Uh, I'm gonna make 
like I said, a, uh, a cylinder. So, so you, I have my tips. So I'm going to make a circle inside, making sure it touches the center lines that I drew. Okay, that's my circle. And now the edges, I will push them up with a line. Okay. And I can erase line. I'm gonna erase lines I don't need at the end. So I'm making a cylinder. And um, I'm going to make a square on top of that shape to finish that cylinder. Making light lines. Okay. And I'm going to erase lines in the back I don't want anymore. And at the end, I'm going to add value to the cylinder so that it can look 3D. Raising the horizon inside the cylinder. Okay. Now, okay, my light source is right here. So it's going to be darker in this side and lighter on this side. So that's how we finish the cylinder. So I'm getting lighter in the shadow. I'm not pressing as hard as I'm getting into the light source. It's gonna be lighter, very graduate. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my finger to blend it up. Okay, and I think I still need a little more darkness. So that's my cylinder. Okay, so I have a rectangle. I have a pyramid. Not really a pyramid. Let's do a pyramid so that I can uh, show you the difference between the pyramid and this shape. Okay. I'm going to make the pyramid be floating in space. So 
So I'm going to make a square. I'm going to make a square. I'm making a square. It's the base of the pyramid. Okay, this is the base, the bottom portion of the pyramid. I can make the pyramid going up, uh, going up or going down. Let's make it going down. It's gonna be an upside down pyramid. Okay, so first find, make sure to find the center of this line. So corner to corner, inside the shape, find the center. Okay, so the center's right there. So I'm gonna make a line, a straight line up and down. And I want it going behind this shape. So I made the line behind it, okay? So now I'm going to connect my edges. Connect this edge to and connect the last edge. Now I'm going to erase lines, including the horizon. And that's my upside down pyramid. And I can add value. So I'm gonna add shadow on this side because the sun is right here. I'm gonna make the sun a little darker so you can see. Okay, that's my sun. So there's gonna be shadow on this side. So I'm gonna add shadow. And I'm done with my upside down pyramid. Okay, so let's do a, a sphere. Look, I'm gonna show you a sphere. It's a sphere, a circular object, 3D, like a ball. Okay, we're gonna do that. So the sphere, hmm. Huh. Let's put it right here, the sphere. So a sphere. Let's make a circle first. Okay. So I made a light outline and uh, I'm going to raise the horizon. Okay. Let me make it a little darker so that you can see it. Okay. So light source is right here. Shadow is gonna be on the other side. Okay. So shadow makes so you see the shadow on my paper where the light is not touching it. Okay. So where it's going to be darker on one side and it's going to gradually get lighter 
to the light source, okay? So very dark on the other side. And I'm making a circular motions when shading, circular. So when I'm, I'm not making lines, I'm making circular motions, circles. So get in the habit of when you shade, circles, make little circles or big circles. So it's getting lighter. I'm not pressing as hard anymore near the light source. And I'm pressing really hard on the shadow side. Okay, can you see the light source? Can you see like light is sitting there? It's hitting. So I'm gonna blend it a bit, with my fingers. Now I'm going to raise some, okay. So that's my, that's my sphere, okay. Hmm. Let's make something in the back, in the back. So I'm going to use the vanishing point and I'm going to draw behind the shapes. So I'm drawing behind the triangle shape. And since it's an open triangle, I pass through the opening. You see, I pass through. And how about this side? needs to be a bit bigger. It's going to be a big shape. Okay. So my big shape is in the back. And I'm I'm making sure that I'm not that I'm passing through the see-through areas. So this shape is open, this shape is open. And I should erase. It's getting a bit dirty because I keep uh, rubbing it with my hand. So, okay. So now, let's close this shape that I drew in the back. I'm going to make a big cube in the background. So for this project, guys, we're just creating shapes in space. All kinds of shapes and using value, okay? So now that I have my shape, I'm gonna make lines going up and down. To close it. Okay, now I'm going to close it, wait, huh, 
I'm trying to figure out how big do I want the shape. So with the ruler, I can figure out how big do I want it. Do I want it to go outside the page or stay inside the page? Let's make it go outside the page. So I'm making the shape go outside the page. And I'm going to mark the table a little bit so that I know where to meet the line. Okay, so that's a big shape in the back, but don't forget to add the value. So light on the top, darker in this side, and it's gonna be mid-tone in the middle in this one, this side. So it's gonna be a lot of shading. So I'm gonna make it, try to make it as fast as I can. So for this one, I am making straight lines up and down because it's a, it's a geometric shape. It's a shape that's flat. This one is circular. So I, I don't, I make circular, I shade with circles, but this one I'm allowed to make lines straight up and down. Do you see how the straight lines make it look flat? So I'm going to go a little out of the line and erase in a bit. So right here. And right there. Okay, I'm going to erase. And I'm going to blend a bit. Okay. All right. Can you see my shape? Now this side is going to be a little lighter than this side. The sun is not hitting it directly, but there is still some sun flowing into this side. Okay. There's still some sun, but not directly hitting into it. Okay. I'm going to make a light does ours have to be exactly like yours or can we mix no it does it? not it does not have to be exactly like mine. You can make completely different shapes. I'm just showing you uh, some things that you could do. Um, you can use, uh, see I did open shapes, I did a pyramid, I did a cylinder, I did a big cube in the back, I did a sphere, okay? So look, I have some more examples here. I did this with my other class. So look at this one. It's an open shape. Uh, it's a, there's a diamond. Let me finish this diamond. So I did a diamond, a gem. I did a, also a sphere. I did an open cube. So you see? And look at the one Mr. Godinez did. 
This one's very interesting. Look at this one. There is some uh, dumbbells looking shapes uh, with spheres and very interesting, very dark shadows. Look at the shape in the front. So I'm going to post uh, this video and a YouTube video where you where they show this example. Okay. Can I see your work? Can Can you do a diamond? A diamond. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's do the diamond. Uh, I did this diamond. Are you okay with this diamond? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, let's do it All right, let me, uh, where is it? Speaker view. Okay, I'm gonna do a diamond. Uh, where's an open space here? I, I'm going to make it right here. No, in the sky. There's an open space right there. Let's make a diamond. So for the diamond, I make a line straight up and down. I start with the line straight up and down. Okay. And I make another line in the center straight across. Okay. So how big do you want your diamond? So now you just connect it, the triangles. The front side, we're not is you don't use the vanishing points, okay? You basically make a like a kite, a kite drawing across with so I made a cross and now I am so there's my cross and I connect the shapes connect the lines together and it will become a kite okay So now I will use the vanishing point and connect it to the edge and make a tiny little line. How big do you want it? And the other side too, connect it to the vanishing point and make a line, okay? And now, I'm going to uh, attach the corners to this, to the line I just made. Corner to the line I just made. It's like a gem, like a diamond, a polished diamond. And the center. And now I'm going to erase the line in the center. And there's your polished diamond. And now you use the light source to create some light, some shadow. Darker on one side. and some in this side and i'm done with my diamond if i had color i can make some blue some pinks some okay any other shapes do you, you guys want me to draw before i let you guys go okay 
So 